It's Nolan. What's going on, y'all? It's the kid J. Nolan here. It's been a little minute since we had a Kanye West video on this channel, but we got a few things that have leaked out over the last couple of days where some old footage from seems around 2018, maybe some kind of documentary that he was preparing for that was never released. The footage has been leaking out. And he's got some music that's been leaking out as well. Old projects, upcoming projects that he had in his stash. There's a lot of different stuff from Kanye's camp that's just mysteriously ending up online. We had Fred Reck, one of his old producers from way back in the G. They linked up to do some music. He's been on Twitter insulting Kanye, saying he's a leaky bastard and all this different stuff. I don't know what the method to the madness is, why all of this stuff is coming out all of a sudden. But I know there's a lot of Kanye fans out there that are just happy to have it. While there's others that is causing some controversy in these streets. Now, in one clip, we have... Kanye just unloading the chopper on the entire good music camp saying he needed to disband and get away from good music. He was talking down on Nas. He was just going in on everybody. OK, number one, he says, why the hell did I just produce this project for Nas? Got this song Cop Shot the Kid and he's rapping all off beat on my beat. I honestly thought that was Kanye's issue I thought they mixed it that way because I've never heard Nas deliberately rap off beat only times I've ever heard his lyrics sound funny is when other people have been dealing with his vocals and putting it all over the place I've heard DJ Khaled fuck up Nas vocals I've heard the same on Kanye's project and I've heard some other shit for like a soundtrack with him and Rick Ross that I was like why Nas sound like that? When Ye is on the phone, he's basically making it seem like Nas did it on purpose he also says that Nas shot a video for the song when he didn't want to do the video, then all of a sudden he shoots a video behind his back and never tells him that he was going to do it. So I'm guessing that dissolved their working relationship at that time. He says, why the hell would I give Tiana Taylor this record? Why the hell would I give Pusha T Daytona? So this is all like that 2018 period where they was just coming out with all them albums back to back to back. And to my knowledge, he volunteered to do the records. I thought it was his whole play to put those albums out back to back to back, it seemed like nobody else was really in on it. You know what I mean? Pusha T said he didn't really like working in that fashion. Tiana Taylor was definitely unhappy when her album came out. A lot of Nas fans were disappointed when they actually heard the album. So there was really no need in rushing it out. It was no need in having back to back to back weeks with those records other than propelling good music to that level. But then he regretted it. I'll go ahead and play the clip for y'all. I don't know if I could put the video on the screen, but I'll definitely play the audio. So here we have it. It ain't gonna be in this situation. It's gonna be a get me out this motherfucking good music shit now. And Scooter ain't gonna be no, oh, I'm still putting my name on a shit. I need to get rid of good music because I'm great. And guess what? Good is the enemy of great. The fuck I'm doing giving Wanna Love You to fucking Tiana. What the fuck I'm doing giving that Daytona album to Pusha. What the fuck I'm doing, bro? That shit like, I, that shit was three dark fantasies that I gave away. Cop shot the kid, Nas rapping all goddamn offbeat on it, don't even want to shoot a video. They shoot the video, don't even tell me. These motherfuckers don't appreciate me. All these motherfuckers is trying to use me. I'm the greatest motherfucking artist living and I can do everything. And I'm not being expanded and my vision is not being expanded to what it is. I'm performing at other people's festivals and shit. I've been wanting a fucking festival. People not touring my shit, people saying I'm locked in a I've been recouped. These niggas made fa fake black skinheads. I got the fake black skinhead. Marty Van Deer told me, I'm sick. I'm sick. Ain't nobody reach me. Y'all boys better not fuck with me, bro. These boys better not about to play that black, black, black skinhead on Twitter live quick. And I know my life is on the line when I'm talking. But I know ain't nobody gonna touch me because I'm too high profile. I'm not triple X. So y'all can't take me out. But I bet you I get off my motherfucking publishing. I bet you I get my motherfucking festival. And I bet you I get off a of universal. And I bet you y'all don't talk to Adidas again. Now at this time, this is some crazy stuff, man. Because although he's having like a manic episode, he's saying some real stuff. And he's saying some stuff that actually came to fruition shortly thereafter. So he was definitely on to something despite his anger, right? So number one, he says that he was locked in a pub deal. I think since then, Kanye has gotten out of the pub deal. There was also conversations about him being stuck in his deal with Def Jam. They let him off the deal with Def Jam because of his so-called anti-Semitic comments. They severed ties with him, right? He fulfilled his contract, dissolved good music, right? 
Pusha T left good music. There is no more good music. There's nobody else around Kanye. Malik Youssef and, you know, Consequence, they're around from time to time, but the label is over. John Legend gone. Pusha T gone, right? Big Sean gone. They had a public issue. So he got his wish. Good music gone. He talks about the Daytona album. He said, I, I'm giving y'all three back to back my twisted dark fantasies. Why would I do that? And, I, and to that, I would say, bro, you're over, you're over hyping it a little bit, right? Because you say you're the greatest living musician. You could do everything. And you've shown that you can do a little bit of everything. But a lot of what we've seen has been assisted by these other creative people, right? You're not just going in the studio, one man maestroing this shit out. Like when we thought you were doing that, we eventually found out that that's not the case. We'll come back to that in a moment for some other shit. But at that time, you can see he was also at odds with Adidas. He said, I bet you I never talked to Adidas again. At this point, we thought that the Yeezy brand was at the top of the world. We thought it was selling out, going crazy. Everybody wanted to be a part of it. The Yeezy deal ended up making him a billionaire. But at that time, he was already unhappy. Go out, make some anti-Semitic comments. Bloop. Got him up out of there. So I'm just saying some of this stuff sounds wild. But a lot of it actually came true over time, especially within the last year or two. All of those ties have been severed. Sounds like what he wanted all along. Now, in another piece from this documentary, we also have him speaking on Cardi B. This was very interesting to me. He says that Cardi B is an industry plant. She was chosen by the industry as the successor to Nicki Minaj to overthrow her and get her out the way. I don't know if I necessarily agree with this. But I do know that Atlantic Records had been looking for somebody to compete with Nikki, to have somebody become that 1A, 1B with her. They found Cardi and they've been pushing her ever since. Now, how do I know that they were looking for somebody? Because we have the Lady LaShore incident. OK, this is prior to Cardi B getting a deal. This is prior to Cardi B becoming everybody's favorite person from love and hip hop. Lady LaShure was out here buzzing in the UK. Atlantic Records wanted to sign her and they offered her money to diss Nicki Minaj. I'm not saying the entire label was back in this, but there was somebody at Atlantic Records that approached her in A&R that wanted to sign her and they wanted to pay her money. She's done interviews talking about it. They offered her seventy five thousand dollars to do a Nicki Minaj diss. She turned it down. They kept making her counter offers. She said that the highest bid that they sent to her was two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, which she continued to turn down. Although she was young in the industry, although she needed the money, would have loved to have bought a house and done all types of things with it. She stood on her morals. She knew she did not have any problems with Nikki and decided not to do it from that point. Yeah, there was a search. There's been other artists in the industry that have also been approached and turned down that same type of offer. Very similar offers. We never had Cardi B deliberately go at Nikki. So it's not that she took the deal. It's not that she took that offer. It's just that once they got into concert with each other when they got around each other they just never vibed very well being that they all had Migos relationships we saw that the Migos wanted to put them on a song together you know what I'm saying that ended up happening nonetheless they ended up beefing all of that stuff one would have to say Atlantic Records found their Nicki Minaj competitor so Kanye's not wrong I just don't believe that Cardi is an industry plant we saw her come up she did shoot meteorically once she got with them, but having this long sustained success that she's had the past five years, you can't really manufacture that. If they were to really just invest all of this money into Cardi B with none of the returns, with people not really liking her, with people not really rocking with her music like that, Cardi B would literally be broke right now because the label would just be spending unlimited budgets of marketing dollars without anything coming back in. So do I agree that Cardi is an industry plant? No. Is she exactly what Atlantic Records was looking for? Absolutely. They're betting the house on her at this point. But it doesn't mean that those two things have to be true at the same time. Let's hear what Kanye had to say, though, because he says she's Illuminati. That's why that's why that's why fucking Cardi B was over there. Cardi B is a plant by the Illuminati. She don't write her raps. She's just there to like sound as ignorant as possible and just and then make songs like fuck them and they get some money. You know, she was literally replaced, you know, Nicki Minaj purposely, that they put her there. 
and now she doesn't know what to do, and she's just a fucking, she has no idea what the fuck is going on. She thinks it's just a blessing from the universe. This is the hypocritical shit that I'm talking about, man. He wants to talk mess about Cardi B for not writing her raps when it's been revealed by multiple people. Should we should we really dig into it? Malik Youssef, Consequence, Rhyme Fest, Pusha T, Travis Scott, Kendrick Lamar on certain songs, Theophilus London. This is just a few. If I really went deeper, this shit would be crazy, okay? These are all people that have ghostwritten and written, co-written, wrote raps that came out this man's mouth, and he wants to say something about how she's not writing her rap. She wants to be the ignorant person and just act like everything is being given to her. But this is the same man who was making rhymes about bleaching booty holes, right? Then went on TV and tried to act like he was saying something prophetic, by quoting himself, talking about bleaching booty holes. This industry shit is just weird, man. Like, I used to always wonder, like, damn, why am I not in the industry? Why am I not around all these people? Why am I not being invited to these places? I really feel like God was protecting me, found me another way to take care of myself off of music. It's not to the level that I would love it to be at, you know what I'm saying? I'm still a work in progress, still growing, but I am able to do this full time. I am able to, you know, take care of myself and my family doing this, but like, I always wondered, like, man, why is it not working? But I would definitely be out of my fucking mind had I came into the game at 17, 18 years old and been around the industry and been around people like these folks trying to emulate and be a part of what they got going on and feeling like I'm less than I need to go with the flow in order to move ahead. I would be crazy, too. Now, as I stated, some of what Kanye was saying in the other clip. A lot of it came to fruition. All of it really kind of came to fruition. I think there's definitely some methods to the madness. I think there's definitely a lot of sense upstairs in, in, in the midst of the nonsense. But unfortunately, he's become somebody where every time we see him, it's a spectacle. It's something weird. It's something that's just not right. It's something that's off putting. Even when you look at him on his best, most put together days, it's like, why this motherfucker barefoot on the street? At the end of the day, I do wish Kanye all the best. Don't want to see anything happen to him. Would definitely not like to see him leave this earth anytime soon. And we have to, you know, go through all of that. All you can really do is pray for him. You know what I mean? I don't even really want to hear more music from him until he's like completely stable, completely like in a new zone, you know, perfectly healthy, clean bill of health upstairs and body wise. Uh, I wouldn't want to hear no new music. And they say he's got new music coming. I don't know if I'm going to listen to it. But y'all let me know what y'all think of all this down below in the comments. Do you agree with what he was saying? Do you agree with anything that he's saying? Do you disagree? Let me know, man. All right. And before I go, yeah, I did talk about myself doing music. If you've been watching my last couple of videos, I have been sampling some of my songs. Um, I do have a project on the way called Southside Nolan. It's actually available for pre-order right now on my website, www.pengameelite.com. You can pre-order the album now. The official release is going to be on November 1st, where you can purchase it directly from me. It will go live on streaming December 1st, so that's plenty of time for people that don't want to make a financial investment. However, that financial investment does trickle back to me directly so that I can invest into my career, have more time to work on YouTube, have more resources to invest into visuals and stuff like that so i'm gonna play uh my upcoming single let's get it at the end of this video so you can hear me lyrically hear sonically what i'm doing visit www.pengameelite.com it's gonna be in the description below you can pre-order the album you can check out other things that i have going on on my website i've been on countless tv shows with my music over 200 as a matter of fact movies uh kevin hart projects Hulu projects, Netflix projects, all that type of stuff, man. So I'm not just some Joe Schmo asking for support. I've really been doing this for a long time and I do it at a high level. All right. Much love and respect. I'll see y'all later. Peace. Yeah. King of my city in Codesac. Uh. Coming out swinging like soldier rat. Yeah. Leading my people like quarterback. Why I study this shit, I'm an almanac. Yeah. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply. Came yeah. with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my check. Yeah. Spinning the block for the gouda, we hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. Yeah. 
We don't do beef on computers, so straight out the sewer, we come when you rest. Uh, niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck. No map, I trust my gut for the quest, but drama I'm full of your breast. I was ready for years and they died of me. All of a sudden they tell me they proud of me. I've been dropping these haters like calories. Cross them out and came back with some batteries. Stand for my honor, but you run no gunner. Packing a stick with a drummer. Wanna catch my bad one fumble. I done came too far to be humble. New day, let's get it. Big chain, let's get it.